When it comes to laptops, Huawei isn't the first brand that comes to mind. Because let's face it, the market is crowded. But guess what? Huawei makes great laptops. And this is the 2020 Huawei Mate Book X Pro. Huawei's laptop journey kicked off at the Mobile World Congress 2016 with the original Mate Book. It was a show-stealing 2-in-1 convertible to rival the Surface. If anything, Huawei proved one thing. Never say never. In 2019, Huawei released two MacBook-inspired devices, and they were excellent. The Mate Book 13 and the flagship Mate Book X Pro. It has since expanded its portfolio to include the affordable Ryzen-powered MateBook D14 and D15. So I've been using the MateBook X Pro for a couple of weeks. Here are my thoughts. For some of you, the MateBook X Pro is going to look familiar because aesthetically it hasn't changed. And that, folks, isn't a bad thing at all. It's the sleek and classy laptop as you remember it. Aside from the Huawei logo that has now been replaced by the logo type, you'd be hard pressed to tell the difference between the old and the new. Weight and dimensions are exactly the same. 14.6 millimeters at its thinnest point and topping 1.33 kilos. It's overall well built and the chamfered edges give it a really nice premium feel. In terms of color options, Huawei has introduced the new emerald green, which I think looks the business. Unfortunately, my review unit was a more common space gray. No complaints though, both look great. For the screen real estate it offers, the MateBook X Pro is compact and ultra thin, and easily slides into a sleeve and bag. My bag certainly appreciates not carrying a sack of bricks around. Speaking of which, the 13.9 inch display remains unchanged, I mean, why change it? It's a 3K LCD that pushes 3000 by 2000 pixels, and thanks to the super narrow bezels, the screen spans almost edge to edge. It's a touchscreen panel, by the way, although I tend to not fancy touchscreen laptops too much. Some may find the 3 by 2 aspect ratio a little odd, but it's great for work and for browsing websites. Being a super light and thin device, I.O. ports are understandably limited. That being said, the important ones are there. Two USB-C ports, a USB 3.0 Type-A port, and a 3.5mm audio jack. So, on the inside, you get up to a quad-core 10th gen Intel Core i7 with NVIDIA GeForce MX250 graphics. This is paired to up to 16GB of RAM and 1TB of flash storage. It's quite a workhorse, at least on paper. With the GeForce MX250, the MateBook X Pro can run some games decently well, albeit at medium settings. What you'll also find is the excellent well-spaced keyboard. Sure, they're very MacBook Pro-like, but thankfully they work better, at least compared to pre-MacBook Pro 16-inch models. The chiclet keys offer decent travel and good feel. They're backlit with three levels of brightness. I have to say that it has one of the better laptop keyboards in the market, though it doesn't come close to a ThinkPads. Oh, and sitting discreetly between the F6 and F7 keys is the 1 megapixel webcam. It's a novel idea, although hardly practical. For one, 1 megapixel is ridiculously low res, even for web conferencing. And it's terrible when lighting conditions are poor. Also, who's a fan of chin fees anyway? Moving on, the enormous touchpad is nice to use, offering good feedback and response. The fingerprint sensor that's built into the power button at the top right of the keyboard is snappy. However, like many laptop fingerprint sensors I've used, it can sometimes have problems recognizing my finger. Hmm, could it just be me? Let's also not forget about Huawei Share, Huawei's device interconnectivity technology. A single tap of a Huawei device will pair the two and you'll be able to move files, photos, videos, and music across, as well as share screens. 
I don't use it particularly, but I think some users will find it handy. Under the hood, there's a large 56 watt hour lithium polymer battery that Huawei claims will give you up to 13 hours of video playback or 15 hours of regular work. For me, on an average day of use, the Lappy would return a solid 7 hours, which is acceptable. What you like is the 65 watt USB C fast charger, which gets the laptop charged up in no time. 30 minutes of charging, Huawei claims, will give you enough juice for 6 hours of use. While there's nothing remarkable about the design per se, I like how sleek and light it is. It also feels solid and well built. The screen is excellent and honestly one of the best in the business. It's crisp and bright and because it's so high res, there's plenty of real estate especially if you need to be productive. On the performance front, I didn't find the MateBook X Pro lacking in any way. It was overall snappy and responsive. Even when I was photo or video editing or doing everyday things like browsing the web or word processing. Synthetic benchmarks more or less showcase the expected performance of the i7 chip. What's surprising though is the discrete MX250. I tested a couple of games out. At medium to low settings, I could get decent 30 frames per second at 1080p gaming on games like Rocket League and PS2020. Rocket League especially was pretty playable. Another thing that I like about the MateBook X Pro is the keyboard. The keyboard offers 1mm of travel, which is great, and I appreciate how well spaced the keys are. The fingerprint scanner is also snappy, and although it occasionally fails to recognize my finger. Battery life is good, but not amazing. The great thing though is the 65 watt power brake juices the lappy up in no time. Audio from the quad speaker system isn't bad. They can get pretty loud without too much distortion. And moving on to things I didn't like. One major drawback of thin and light form factors is thermal performance. Couple that with a considerably powerful chip like the i7 and you could be in for some heated action. And not the kind that you like. <laughs> in stress tests and benchmarks, the CPU hit in excess of 80 degrees Celsius with the GPU hitting close to 90 degrees Celsius. And while benchmarks don't represent real-world usage, I found the lappy heating up when I was doing work and especially when playing games. It's not as apparent when the laptop is sitting on a desk, but when it's on your lap, that's when things get uncomfortable. I think this is an area Huawei definitely needs to work on moving forward. The other thing I'm not a fan of is the discrete camera. I get it, it's a privacy camera. It stays hidden when it's not in use and all that, but it's poorly positioned and it's too low res to matter. I used it for an actual zoom session and I constantly worried about how my chin looked. All that being said, the refresh MateBook X Pro is a solid premium ultrabook. Sure, it has a couple of niggles here and there, but it's nicely packaged and offers the performance to boot. It's currently for sale for 7,999 ringgit and is available in space grey. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. Do let me know what you think about the MateBook X Pro and if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Do consider to subscribe so that you can catch up with more awesome stuff coming to this channel soon. And until the next video, take care, stay safe and peace. So I'll be using the main Psst. get the emerald green when it comes to the able. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me what let me what